Yo, 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 what's going on, folks? Elva Geek back once again, picking it up just where we left off from. Let me go ahead and check the, uh, the settings on here. Let's look at the image quality. Yes, let's plus one that. Leave it as that. Uh, first game we actually started off with was uh, Shadows of the Colossus, and this game we're going to actually pick up with uh, Ico. So, without further ado, let's go ahead get into it, show you a little bit of the game because there's a lot of cutscenes and hopefully I'll be able to show you just some of the game. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into the game because this game is yeah, not a game that I'm going to sit here and I, I don't want to play it in front of a, uh, a viewfinder of a camera. So, I just want to actually take it in and Make sure the uh, first completion of both is memorable, fun, all of the above. Alright, let's go ahead and skip this cutscene. Let's get into uh, the actual gameplay. But one thing I can say with this remote play, like I said in the previous video, I think if they really, um, you know, back the whole remote play going forward, uh, there could be some pretty amazing experiences. I mean, even if it's, you know, I would love these games and just in general to come to Vita. But if we can get uh, a larger, you know, amount of games that that we can play on here. I mean, they added the the God of War collection as well, which is awesome. If I do say so myself. But uh, you know, just what if at least their first party titles that they came out with all were allowed to remote play with the Vita. I mean, it would just kind of help a little bit better. Um, as opposed to just porting over the game every single time. I mean, I wouldn't mind sitting here for, for some of these and just playing them directly on my Vita. Like this. If need be. As opposed to getting crappy ports word up to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Oh, uh, forget the button combination. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, so we get that door to open. Now, on this game, I've played just a little bit. I haven't really went that far into it because uh, I bought it and then I ended up putting it in my backlog. So, with this... Uh, with them actually saying that it now has Vita support, it just came out of my backlog. So, uh, just that, just that big. I mean, you know. Right. Ah, stuck on the wall. Sorry, I just like breaking stuff. Alright, so let's crawl out of there. Now, hopefully this isn't too dark. Oh, wow, that's dark. Um, let me bring that brightness up a little bit. One thing about the brightness on the Vita, the only thing it really does is touch the edges. Not really, not really uh, something that's very helpful. And hopefully this comes out good. But, uh, yeah... I can't wait to they actually make it. I'm pretty sure they probably won't, but if they did make it so uh, you can stream directly from the Vita or just capture it to like a capture card, that would be pretty amazing. It'd be a lot easier if I do say so myself. Oop, shoot, what am I doing? Being slow over here. Alright, so let's keep on going up. But, I mean, at least from, at least with the, the updates, I mean, they added uh, the God of War collection. Uh, they also added uh, this game and Shadow of the Colossus. So it's good to see they're not adding, like, horrible games and, you know, things like Barbies or, I don't know. It was, as, as long as it's a good game, man. Like, I don't want to sit here and play, like, the original Avatar, the, the Atria 
the uh, the achievement game. Um, I want games that will actually allow me to put some time into them and actually enjoy them. So hopefully this is some, a good sign going forth that they're going to start supporting the Vita a lot more in general. And so far, I really haven't seen that much uh, slowdown or difference as, you know, from controlling it on here as opposed to controlling it on the, um, uh, my, just my TV itself. Damn, that was killing me. Alright, let's go ahead and get her down. Let me skip that cutscene. I totally forgot what I was supposed to do. Uh, I guess I didn't. Alright. Oh, not there. Like, I started this game so long ago, but, um, I went and started playing some of the other games that I had and kind of let it go but is this where I just left off at no it's not Definitely isn't. Okay, cool. There we go. Finally let the little girl out. And let's go back. Okay. Let's climb back in. Was this the one that I used? No, it's not. Okay. It's blocked off. In a destructive game, I would just get to the top of this thing and just jump. So I'm going to get us all the way down there, get us to where we start that cutscene, and uh, then I'm going to jump off of this. I'm not really looking at the screen while I'm moving, I'm running into walls and stuff. I must say, it definitely, it, it plays pretty smooth. Uh, there, I haven't really noticed a delay from button presses like I have with different games that I used in uh, Remote Play, so that's a plus. Kind of, I, you know, as far as controls being more one-to-one -one as opposed to as if you're recording a video game on like a PVR and using the, the computer monitor to... Um, try to see what's going on so that's a plus that it doesn't really hurt it as much and thank you folks for watching that for now has been Ico so uh, stay tuned I mean hopefully they start adding some more games in here and you know hopefully who knows TGS is coming hopefully some great stuff gets announced at TGS or just in general but thanks for watching guys uh, Peace.